Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my mega park. Now, this uh, the Asian area, I think it has uh, become big enough, uh, so it's time to start on a work on a new area. Um, there's not much uh, space left on the to to finish on the in the mega park. Um, now, I don't know if you've seen my last video. It was on the relic of to to uh, Round Earth Society. And I thought it would be cool uh, to give them uh, a base here on this island. So uh, I think I will remove this uh, railway for now. And I will try to make a big uh, volcano crater. And they will get a, a nice uh, base in there. And in there I will make uh, several uh, attractions. I think I'll make it look like a like sort of a makeshift uh, city city and. Uh, I also want to make the station in, in the volcano um, for the final big coaster of the park, uh, which I will probably make in the next episode. The final big coaster will uh, will be launched from the station here and it will uh, go all throughout this uh, area. I think it will be uh, really cool. But uh, first, uh, yeah, let me remove this uh, railway so I can start work on the on their new base. When doing landscaping, uh, well, you could see me use the mountain tool in the beginning uh, just to do the rough shape. When you're making hills, you really don't only want to use the mountain tool. Just because the, the hills you make with it will look very unnatural. So yeah, really uh, just use them for the rough shape and then you should uh, manually do the, really do the rest of the landscaping. Will look much nicer if you uh, manipulate uh, tiles uh, one by one. Now also try not to make them all the same orientation. Sometimes I see people who make landscapes that will look uh, somewhat like this. So yeah, um, you should try not to put them all in the same orientation. It will look much nicer if you make it uh, irregular, more like uh, more like I did here. So for some of them, uh, put them like this and uh, maybe drag this one down a bit. Also connect a few, uh, like here, like so. Maybe even have some uh, flat uh, areas here. Just uh, it will look much nicer if you do it like that. Now, before I start uh, decorating the base, um, I first want to reroute the monorail and the, this train into it. And I think I will also make a train station in here. For uh, yeah, I think it will be cool to have an extra train station here, rather than just here in the town and uh, over here. 
I think uh, there's uh, the railway is long enough that we can fit a third station right here. The monorail already has four stations, so it will just uh, pass through this area. Okay, I've actually decided uh, against rerouting the monorail also through the base. Um, yeah, I just cannot really uh, think of a way to make it look uh, really nice. But the, the train uh, itself should, uh, should be more than enough. Okay, um, like I said, I'm not going to build the coaster in this episode, but I did already uh, prepare something, uh, just so I know approximately how much space I'm going to need uh, in this part. And uh, that way I can already start planning the entrance paths uh, to the base. So yeah, this is just some uh, preparation for later. Alright, um, uh, like I said, this will be a base for the Round Dirt Society, and if you've seen my video about them, you'd know that uh, they like to build uh, rockets in their bases for usage uh, in the in the in the event that they call the shattering, uh, where they will all launch their rockets towards the glass barrier. Um, now, since this is such a big base, I think it also deserves a, a big rocket. So, uh, yeah, I will just uh, try to, to build something uh, nice here.
Alright, I'm really happy with the way the rocket looks. Um, I'm going to detail it more later. Uh, I'm not particularly happy with how the tower looks. I'll probably make it look more uh, more massive, more solid. Uh, so yeah, what I will do now first is uh, make the paths in this area uh, so that later I can start making uh, buildings and uh, rides here. And then I can also make a train station here. Okay, for the buildings in this area I want to make it look like they were really dug out of the mountain and uh, cobbled together. So that's why I'm uh, gonna use uh, cheap materials. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it look a little bit rusty and uh, other than that just uh, these wooden roofs. Um, so yeah, not uh, no high-tech stuff, uh, maybe some high-tech stuff, but uh, mostly I'll try to make the buildings themselves uh, look a little bit cheap. Now here you can see a tunnel. Normally if you make uh, paths in a tunnel invisible, the tunnel will disappear. So what I actually did here is I actually uh, put uh, chairlift uh, cables underground. Um, maybe you can see them now. Well, they're they're difficult to see. You can see them right now. And basically, the only uh, reason I put these here is uh, so the tunnel still shows, uh, even though the path is no longer there. Just a little trick that you can use uh, if you need a tunnel. Uh, it also works if you have a track somewhere and uh, you also want the tunnel to be uh, visible while the track is uh, invisible. So just put some uh, chairlift cables and the tunnel will show again. Now, uh, I sort of want this area also to uh, be like a training center for the Round Earth Society. So that's why uh, I will put some attractions here, like a motion simulators and uh, an enterprise to uh, prepare them uh, 
well, to serve as training machines to prepare them for uh, for trips to uh, to outer space or to outer realms. <laughs> Alright, um, this area still needs a lot of work, but I'm starting to like the direction it's taking. So uh, yeah, I think uh, these barrels work great as uh, decorations. Um, these walls, I will decorate them with these uh, metal, uh, well, these metal walls. Uh, I will put some more attractions uh, like this. Um, so yeah, um, I will continue in the, in this style. Um, I think it will look uh, really good in the end. But uh, it still uh, takes a lot of work, and right now, uh, I agree, it still looks a little bit uh, bare bones. But uh, I will fix that. Uh, prob it will probably take two more episodes to get this uh, area into shape, and then finally, uh, I can also work on the on the Giga Coaster or the launched uh, Giga Coaster. All right. Um, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me build. Uh, I'm really eager to uh, continue on this area, uh, but right now it's getting quite late, so uh, I have to uh, end this episode now. I hope you enjoyed watching me build, and I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later. <laughs>